Good morning, everybody. Today, I'm featuring a CV replay that uh, Norik from my clan sent through. He's playing the Implacable. It's an all tier 8 match, and he's uh, in a division with my good friend Field Minotaur. See, Field Minotaur is rocking the Rishler. Rishler is one of my more favorite um, battleships, and uh, I must say, I do, I do enjoy my Rishler. And we can see Norg does a pre-drop there. He's got his bombers up there. And uh, he's got a Percival as the opposing CV. And Norg had an incredible match. I mean, when he sent me this replay, he said, wait to the end. Um, he didn't tell me how many kills and exactly how brilliantly he did during this uh, replay. As we can see, he's doing the standard CV, scouting. Let's see what's available. Let's see what's out there. Spots Bismarck, Air Pitakao, Massachusetts. Air Pitakao is putting up quite a bit of a flag burst there. And Nord does a bombing run on the Bismarck. Five bomb hits. 7,700 damage. Launches his next set of planes. Oh man, coffee so early in the morning is always good. Anyway, see Nord pre dropping. He's got his torpedo bombers out here. The fairy spearfish. Three drops. Now the implacable has got looks like four squadrons of two planes. So he's sending the first two squadrons back and he's leaving the other two. And uh, during one of the CV replays uh, from my good friend Louise, I explained why in the early part of the game it is important for CV players to pre drop. Um, just so that they've got fighters available and that the squads start regenerating early. Now the Massachusetts, not a easy nut to crack. Massive, massive amounts of AA. But looks like he might just get at least two torpedoes off before his squadron is wiped. And he launches his bombers again. One torpedo hit, one incapacitation there on the Massachusetts. He swaps to his rocket planes. The Massachusetts takes care of the friendly Atago, unfortunately. And the enemy team is one kill ahead. And there's an Ognavoy. Norg asks everybody to focus on the Ognavoy. And he's obviously sending his rocket planes there. Difficult position, but he manages six rocket hits and he gets his first kill and he puts the team's level on one kill each. Now it's always amazing, as somebody that actually doesn't play CV, and, and that, that, to be honest, I did mention this before, I can't play CVs. Um, it is amazing to see a good CV player, um, and I'm hoping that everybody else on the channel uh, all 58 subscribers are enjoying the uh, CV replays. It's not something we see often. Oh, Nork's team loses another ship. And they're one behind again. Now this Kagero is doing a brilliant job of pushing quite, quite aggressively. Uh, trying to see and spot. And there is a Massachusetts and a Bismarck. And that Massachusetts is quite low. A lot of AA that uh, Norg's planes are going through. Massachusetts is also supporting the American camo. America! One hit and a flood. Two hits, one incapacitation and a flood. 
That was a good torpedo or an orc. Norg checks the map. Remember, this isn't RTS days anymore. Although a rune yesterday featured a nice RTS thing. And there's there's the kill. Norg's second kill of the match. That implacable kept flooding the Massachusetts. Obviously didn't have damage control ready. And uh, he flooded out. Now in that little channel, there was a Otago. And that one managed to do a... Uh, torpedoes on the Bismarck and took the Bismarck out as well. Yeah, so the Massachusetts Z, uh, Zanker Z uh, compliments Norg on his uh, torpedo drop there. And again, I've mentioned this before of the North American server. Uh, people are generally quite polite. As we see Norg do a bombing run on the Bismarck. Three hits, two fires. Those fires unfortunately won't stick. If it was a single fire and the Bismarck had any sense, he would let it burn. Oh, and there the, the Massachusetts says, got my engine flooded. And just after I used the repair crew that puts out the fires, Norwich scored a torpedo hit and flooded again. And that's why he flooded out. Like I just mentioned, North American server, usually the people are actually quite polite and not very cranky, uh, not very toxic. I know some of the other servers can be toxic. North does a good torpedo run on the Bismarck. Let's see if he gets any. Oh, two torpedo hits, two floods. That Bismarck is pushing the field Minotaur and his Richelieu quite hectic. And there we go. That was the Bismarck that used both uh, his damage control and both the fires. Nor gets his third kill, floods out the Bismarck. Obviously, he was on Discord with Field Minotaur, and um, Amina was calling for some assistance with uh, the Bismarck. And the Massachusetts, that CV is racking up the kills. Yes, Norg, indeed, you are racking up the kills here. Now, I'd like you to put your eyes while Norg does a rocket run on the Massachusetts. I'd like to, you to avert your eyes to the 910 line. And tell me what you are seeing in the 910 line that shouldn't be there. Yes, there's a Massachusetts in that 910 line. And we'll discuss that Massachusetts in a bit. Oof. 11 rockets hit. 5 non-penetrations. And he sets the Massachusetts on fire. Now, if you look at the damage ticker in the top right-hand corner that Massachusetts has. Uh, let one fire. Or oh, didn't let the one fire burn. He's um, stopped one fire. And Field Minotaur manages to take care of the Massachusetts. Fantastic, fantastic work, guys. It's always, always good fun to watch good replays. And as we get to the second half of the match now, you'll notice Nork is no longer pre-dropping. He's now using his full, full squadrons. There is a Turpets. The OG. One of the OG. Premiums. Very, very low health. Very good target of opportunity. One torpedo hit. And Nord gets his fourth kill. That really, really was a good target of opportunity. Charles Motel kills a Prince Eugen. And that is that entire clusterfuck that's happening there in the 910 line. Now, if you're offended by a little profanity, I suggest... I, I was going to bleep things out, but no. Just just no. See, this Otago is coming through this little gap here. Enemy possible takes care of a friendly Bismarck. 
And uh, Norg's team is one kill behind. He drops four bombs, hits on the Atago, two fires, and two incapacitations. Bet you those incapacitations might fail. Deep breath. Those incapacitations were probably the torpedo tubes. And I'm still wondering what the hell a Massachusetts is doing down in that 910 line. <laughs> it's just. You should be in this gap here. There's a Targo and there's a mains as well. Norg decides to go for the Atago here. Rocket strike. Ooh, the fire should stick for a bit. Eight penetrations and incapacitation and a fire. Norg is now focusing the Satago. The Satago is burning. Drops. The Atago has to turn. Dodges. And that was done on purpose so that Norg could get a flat broadside on him in the second run. Brilliant, brilliant play. And there is Norg's fifth kill and his Kraken Unleashed. But as they say in the infomercials, that's not all, folks. There's only three team members left. Norg, a battleship, and Field Minotaur. The enemy possible has been racking up the kills uh, quite well as well. Then Massachusetts eventually does something useful and actually kills a Charles Martel. Now there's a mains, the Parseval, and a Katsuki left. Ooh, nine rockets, two fires. Let's see if. Nor can secure the sixth kill and uh, get that mains. Now, the biggest problem is Norg overextended a bit here and he put his carrier right in the middle of that channel. He's realized the mistake and he's now turning the carrier around. It's too close to the enemies. Yeah, and these are the warnings. Aircraft carrier under attack, but that mains is very, very low on health. And if Nor can get a good bomb run, he should secure the kill. Unfortunately, minute field minotaur has gone down. Two fires and capacitations, three penetrations. And Norg has racked up his sixth kill for this match. Absolutely, absolutely amazing. Biggest problem is they need to cap. They're behind. They are ahead of points. But Norg is now under severe attack by the enemy, Percival. Oof. Oh, and that cost him about a quarter of his health. Of course, the fighters only shoot it down after the attack has been launched, so they're about as useful as uh, Ashtray on a motorbike. Trademark jingles, TM. And that Massachusetts should be heading straight for the cap. Actually, that Massachusetts shouldn't be down the 910 line, though it should have come down the passageway in the 8 line could have done what it wanted to do out there 
and everybody is saying to that Massachusetts get off the 10 line I have absolutely no idea what he's doing there he's utterly useful but useless Nor gets four rockets onto the um, onto the Akatsuki, and uh, somebody's saying the Akatsuki should be out of smokes. Big problem here is that Massachusetts should be heading straight for the cap, but he's got the CV bloodlust. Let's kill the CV. I'm like. Enemy possible comes in with his torpedo bombers. Norg is manually controlling the uh, implacable here to try and avoid. And may no time soon. The CV cannot focus on the DD and the Percival if he's constantly under attack. Norgro launches some rocket planes, Supermarine Seafire. Trying to get his carrier into a safe spot. Well, that Massachusetts is uh, still going for the Percival. Norg launches his uh, auto fighters to try and protect. And Mino is telling him, get the cap, stop the points. Percival's fighters are coming in. Norg Vectors is AA. Manages to turn and takes the minimum amount of damage. Six planes shot down there. But again, cannot focus on actually launching attacks if he's constantly under attack. And that Massachusetts is going where the Percival was last spotted. You're going to see exactly how useless this Massachusetts is. Top Gun F-16 asks him, Mass, what the fuck are you doing? We were all wondering, what the fuck? <laughs> Oh, Massachusetts doesn't, if it doesn't know how to play, evidently. Now, there's a minute 50 left in this match. It is still barely ahead. And there's a possible. Way off where the Massachusetts thought he was. Now, had that Massachusetts gone through that channel, or even had he gone around those islands cut down the G line and gotten into the cap, he would have been far more useful. Instead, he went CV hunting like a total moron. And two guesses. What is... forming that Massachusetts? The Akatsuki. There's the Akatsuki and the CV, and they are farming that Massachusetts. Do you know what else that Massachusetts is doing? I will uh, tell you after you've seen it in the chat replay. Now the Massachusetts is just this is getting utterly farmed by the Akatsuki. Notice the color of the traces there? Yes. The Massachusetts is shooting AP at the Akatsuki. And they tell him if you're going to shoot the destroyer, use AG. Because the, the armor penetration shells are just going to over penetrate. It's a basic mathematical understanding of this fucking game. 
The time is running out. Norg's team should have this. No. And I paused while well, I captured this last screen here. That Massachusetts being a total, total fucking moron cost them the game in the last second of this match. The Akatsuki managed to kill that Massachusetts and farm him down. That gave the enemy a points lead in the last second of the match to win it. I do not know and I cannot understand how players can still be this fucking stupid at this game. Norg, sorry to see your game ruined by an absolute fucking moron. Six skills. If I look at the, the post stats, Kraken, six skills. 13 fires, 8 torpedo hits, 4 floods, 7 incapacitations, 21 bomb hits, 54 rocket hits, nearly 100,000 in damage. Thank you for sending this replay. You did brilliantly. The Massachusetts player, you really need to learn how to play this game. Everybody, thanks for watching as always, and uh, we'll speak to you soon. Take care. Cheers.